your news on the go. Well, there is no school today for Central New York, but the Baldwinville Central School District's Board of Education has called a special meeting for tonight following the superintendent's DWI arrest on Friday. The Baldwinsville police chief tells us 48-year-old Jason Thompson was driving with a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit when he was pulled over for driving without a front plate and making a turn without a signal. That special meeting is tonight at 6.30 at the Transportation Center on West Entry Road. It is open to everyone, but they will be going into executive session. Two teens were shot outside Congressman Lee Zeldin's home on Long Island Sunday. The New York Republican candidate for governor says he doesn't know the two people, but they were found under his porch and in the bushes. According to Suffolk County Police, the two 17-year-olds were walking when a car drove by opening fire. The teens used Zeldin's yard to hide. Police say the shooting has no connection to Zeldin. Starting today, the Onondaga County DOT will start paving East Taft Road from Northern Boulevard to Fremont Road today and tomorrow. Some lane closures actually will cause minor delays, but starting Wednesday, drivers should expect major delays at the intersection of Northern Boulevard and East Taft Road. Turning to a gas check this morning in Syracuse, the average for a gallon is 358. That's down one cent from yesterday and about five from a week ago. Prices may be going down here, but they're ticking up elsewhere. Look at that national average inching closer to four dollars. It is 391 this morning. Hmm. Election day is around the corner and the deadline to register to vote is this week. If you want to vote in the general election on November 8th, your application needs to be in the mail by this Friday, October 14th. If you're not sure if you're registered yet, we'll show you how to check your voter status on localsyr.com. Well, of course, the kids are staying home today. A lot of people may be taking the day for Columbus Day. It's also Indigenous Peoples Day today. And there are celebrations for both holidays happening in Syracuse. Later this morning, the Columbus Monument Corporation will commemorate Columbus Day with the annual wreath laying ceremony at 11. Everyone is welcome to gather in Columbus Circle in downtown Syracuse. There's a luncheon right after at the On Center. And over on the SU Hill, they're celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day at noon. The school will unveil new public artwork by Onondaga artist Brandon Lazor. Later this afternoon, there will also be a presentation on indigenous history with native dancers and singers. All this happening at the quad. Well, the New York Mets are out. The Padres pounded New York 6-0 Sunday, pushing San Diego into the next round of playoffs. The Mets dropped the best of three National League wildcard series two games to one. The Padres will face the Dodgers in a best of five series starting tomorrow. Well, that's a downer, but here's an upper. The Bills did not disappoint. Buffalo picked off the Steelers 38-3 on Sunday. The win improves the Bills to 4-1 on the season. Pittsburgh drops to 1-4. We're not used to seeing that. The longest losing streak for them since 2013.